All right, now a full slate of games. This should be a two-hour video. Last one was only seven games, and we did an hour and 20 minutes. So let's start this one off with the first series here between Tampa and Pittsburgh. A couple series have already started. Uh, Tampa Bay is going to start theirs against Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, PA, the Pirates. Uh, they recently... Uh, they lost four in a row, and then they won their last game against the Nationals. They lost the series against the Nationals. They're 14-15 and 15 now. You would think the pitching would be better like they have it in real life. Tampa Bay mimicking what they have in real life as well. Um, they're also as well 18-11 uh, right now. Not as great as the start that they had in real life, but they just lost another series against the White Sox. Um, a series that they can't seem to beat, and the White Sox continue to have their number. But they hope to turn this around as we come back to the Trop to beat uh, Pittsburgh. In the three-game series here. So let's go. They still lead the East. Uh, it's going to be the Pirates and Tampa Bay here going at it. Uh, Zach Eflin will be on the mound for the Rays. He's doing pretty well so far this year. Uh, Velasquez on the other side. Needs to get a little bit better. And they're holding on. They're holding on their own right now. It's a 0-0 game still. Uh, the shutouts continue. There's a 2-0. Pittsburgh gets to him. And I think that's it for Eflin. Eflin's not going to continue this. We're going to let Shaniro's come in. Pittsburgh up 5-0 right now. Yanni Shaniro's is not is not filing out right now, and I think we need to get him out the game. It's a 6-0 game. We're going to let Taj Bradley, the, the great prospect, the future prospect of this team, to close out the ninth. 6-0. Uh, it looks like Pittsburgh's going to win this with a, a shutout. Uh, Vince Velasquez did get himself six innings pitched, eight strikeouts, a good outing for Vince Velasquez. He needed one of those. He's still 3-0. ERA gets lowered with that, 28 strikeouts on 34 innings pitch. Zach Eflin gets the loss here. Um, he's got 34 strikeouts on 40 innings, but uh, Pittsburgh shuts out the Rays, and a, a big win for Pittsburgh against a really tough team of Tampa Bay. Not the way you want to start off May, but there's still plenty of games to go. Um, so we'll move on from those two teams uh, as their series will continue throughout the week. Uh, Chase DeYoung got the save. <laughs> okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Next one's a 640 game between Miami and Atlanta. Another AL East matchup, and uh, the Braves continue their AL East matchups as they just come off of winning a series against the Mets 3-1 to one against them, and that put them two games above uh, the Mets to take care of the East. Meanwhile, the Marlins, on the other hand, are they won their series against the Cubs, and then uh, they've been on a really bad path, but they're going to go back to the 29th, 28th and be like, that's where we're at right now. That's where we're at. And they'll be hosting the Braves here in Miami. Spencer Strider against Edward Cabrera. And the pitching, the starting pitching has not been a, a pride, a key point of pride for the Marlins. There's only a couple, but only two guys. I think it's Alcantara and I, I, I think it's just Alcantara. But fourth, uh, fourth place team Marlins against the first place Braves. Let's see what happens when they go at it against each other. We did make some moves for uh, Miami in the pitching in the bullpen department, but it looks like it's still 2-0. And there he goes, a tie game right now. Nope, 3-1. Never mind, not tie game. It's still 3-1. to one. Oh, that went really bad for the Marlins, and that's it for Cabrera. I think Edwin Cabrera will be taken out here. We're going to bring in old Kurt here. Two runs on him and again. The pitching is just not there for Miami, and that's hurting them. We're going to put in uh, Anthony Bender. We called him up, and oh, they got four runs on him, 14-1. This is a bad game. We're going to let Bender finish it out. 16-1. This is really bad. 22 hits on Miami. Miami, what happened, dog? What happened? 16-1. The Braves destroyed Miami here. Marcelo Zuna had two home runs, four RBIs. That's a slaughter there. And uh, the pitching Wolves continue to be a problem for Miami here. It continues to be that issue for them. And uh, sadly, that's where they're at now. Now Miami will go to 11-19 while Atlanta goes to 20-11. and 11. I don't think they're going to be a playoff team one anymore. 640 game next one Detroit and New York uh, This is definitely not going to be an easy series for New York because Detroit is a uh, at 500 They'll put Joey Wentz on the mound when they take on Justin Verlander of the Mets Mets are four games above 500 and uh, Recently they didn't have a good week. They only won two games out of it and they've started off uh, this week With the Sunday week starting off uh, two losses to Atlanta So they are definitely trying to get something out of it. Meanwhile Detroit Continues to float around. They continue to float around. They couldn't win the series against. Uh, they they couldn't win it, but they they split the series with Baltimore. They won the series from Milwaukee, and then they won the series. So they're floating around. So we'll see what happens here when these two go face to face. The Mets and the Tigers. Verlander making his uh, return against the one of his former teams with his new team here. And New York's already up two. Oh, it's a two two game. Here we go. Teams are both at two two right now. Joey wins. Verlander. Oh, four to zero. 
And do you keep Wentz? Yeah, you let him go into it. And Wentz sets it for Wentz. We're going to take him out here in the fifth. We're going to let in uh, Matt Manning. Hopefully he holds it. Verlander and Detroit up 6-2. to two. They're up on the Mets here. This is impressive by Detroit. Matt Manning, you're going to let him get in there. Now you're going to bring in Lang. Alex Lang will hold it down for the squad. And the Tigers will win the 6-2 to two to start off the, their series against the Mets. Riley Green got player of the game with a home run and two RBIs. Joey wins the win. Verlander gets a loss. 51 strikeouts, though, for Verlander. That's very impressive. Um, meanwhile, Joey Wentz, who we just moved over to starting pitcher. He was in the bullpen. We moved him to starting pitcher. He's 4-1 now. Good start for the kid. And uh, that will move Detroit to 15-14. and 14. The Mets now 17-14. and 14. And tomorrow we'll see uh, Tariq Skubal, who's still 3-0 and against uh, Max Scherzer. That's going to be tough. Really tough one right there for the Tigers still to win. But it's a good start for the, the Tigers. All right, now we move over to the next game. I see 705 games here and there. We're going to go to the first 705 game, which is up here. Oh, it's Chicago and Washington, which they've already started their series. We got a little bit of a preview of that one um, because Chicago got the win. And Chicago uh, with their two-game win streak right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Washington's on a two-game losing streak. Uh, Kyle Hendricks versus Trevor Williams here. Trevor Williams is having a solid, solid year right now. Solid year. Against Kendricks, uh, Kendricks who hasn't got a one a win yet. He's 0 for 3 with a 6.23 ERA against Williams, who's got a 1.55 ERA. So this is a big uh, outing for Hendricks here, and that's not a good way to start it off. Already allowing a run. It's a 1-0 game right now. Washington trying to hold it down. Trevor Williams still has that that shutout. It's a 2-0 game now. Washington up. Oh, that went bad for uh, Williams, and I think that's it for Williams. Chicago was able to get back into it. I'm gonna put in Josiah Gray. Hopefully he's able to hold it out. 3-2. It's a one-run game right now. Josiah Gray, we're entering this game. Again, the Nationals down by one as we'll enter again this game. Or uh, last time we entered it, they were down by one. Um, and the Cubs won. They got the shutout with uh, Michael Fulmer. We're going to jump into it again. We're jumping into this again. Michael Fulmer looking for his sixth save of the year. Looking for back-to-back -back saves. The Cubs feeling very confident facing the Nationals. But the Nationals... Do not die that easy yet. They are not like the A's or like the Marlins. They're fighting for that fourth place. They want to take the Marlins fourth place spot. But Kielbert Reese, here we go. Michael Fulmer. And the, they've been close in this. Uh, they were close last night. And here they are again. Close again to getting a win here. Fulmer saying, I got him. Like, I got him. Nationals Park. The Nationals. Trying to get a win here at home. Trying to get something, man. Do something that, that gives them a chance to keep fighting. Bossler. Jason Bossler has a 16-game hitting streak. Okay, good for him. And that's not going to be an out, but it's still foul right there. Celebrate Cinco de Mayo with us on our Friday broadcast. Ooh, nice uh, ball out there. Cinco de Mayo coming up for us here. It's already been long past. In the real world, but here we are still here at this point. And look at that catch there. And there's one out there. Ian Happ says, I got the first one out. Don't worry about it. Itamar Vargas, who is 0 for 3 in the series. He's 0 for 6. Definitely time to break that. Uh, time to pop that cherry here. Bradley had one inning pitch and he had two strikeouts. So that's a good start for the young guy from Tampa Bay. But the Pirates won that game. The Tigers got their win. Pete Alonso got a home run. And here comes Fulmer again. The Yankees getting closer to Tampa Bay. I told you, early in the season, things changed really quickly, really fast on the fly. And Chicago's got one game up on Cleveland. Chicago's got the, one of the best records in the league. It's the same with the Astros, too. Oakland's already 17 games behind. Fuck. That's another strike there. That's a strike right there. That's the first strike of this uh, at-bat against Vardigas. And that's a walk right there. You're issuing a walk. Come on, my guy. Fulmer. Can't do that. Corey Dickerson, the 2017 All-Star. Yes, it's been about six years. But he's uh, coming up to pinch hit for his squad. Lucius Fox coming in a pinch run. Gave Lucas, Lucius that chance to be uh, an everyday kind of guy or just be on the squad, ready to be that utility player that we use. And I feel like he's done. he's done well. He's done well. And Mancini is there, ready to pick him off at any chance he has. Game's being slowed down here. 
there to strike one there on Dickerson. One out, one strike, a runner on first, a one-run game. All about ones right now. Got him on that one right there. 0-2 count right now. Dickerson might have not been the right move, I think, to put in. But, hey, I'm not going to question. And a smack? No. I got boogers in my nose and I can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Strike out right there by Fulmer. And that's two outs right there. Michael Fulmer one out away from getting his uh, sixth save of this year. Lane Thomas now. Can he produce? Can he be the big hero here? A big knock will end this. Oh, foul ball. He's looking to swing. He's looking to get whatever he can. Michael Fulmer just wants him to pop out. Pop out, line out, anything that just causes an out. The DC faithful hoping that it doesn't end like last night, and it looks like it will. Looks like Cody Bellinger's got that there. And the Cubs win. The Cubs win. They beat the Nationals. Uh, again, another close game. As the Cubs will win that game, and they're uh, they're they're starting to get their wins again. And again, this is what I think we were waiting for. The Cubs, 14 and 16, they've been close to these 500 ones. Now the Nationals, who are 10 and 19, they lost again by another run, and that's a tough one to lose. You, you almost had that one, but we're gonna move on here, as they they still have two more games in their series. So who knows how that those will go? I'm trying to see if there's any more 705 games. Yes, there is. There is only one more: New York and Cleveland. So we're gonna travel that one here. It's Cleveland. Uh, got the win last night in the Bronx in extra innings. They got the win over the Yankees. And uh, the Yankees, who were doing pretty well, and they were starting to catch up on the on the Rays, would love to get a win here so they can catch up. But Cleveland is making their beeline towards their number one team, which is the uh, White Sox. So let's see what happens here between the Yankees. 14 pitchers is on the roster. The maximum allowed is 13. So I got to say, okay, so I got to say one down. Why is that the maximum? Why can't I have as many pitches as I want to have? That's bullshit. Well, he's hurt, so how is he going to... So the maximum is that much? Okay, that's that's kind of bullshit, but whatever. He's got eight strikeouts. We're going to send Jonathan. We wouldn't think. We were thinking about sending him down. So that means I have to get now a, a batter up here now. And the chaperone's doing well. William Defoe's injured. Josh Donaldson, Hardman, Isaac, Anthony Volpe. I know maybe it's his time to come up. Aaron Hicks. We're not bringing Aaron Hicks. We've sent him down. I know he got DFA in real life. I got Willie Cahoon. Ah, we'll get Greg Allen a chance. We'll move him to the 40 man. He was part of the 40. He's doing really well. I'll right, go back to the 40 man roster. Remove somebody from there. No, he's playing in the actual team. We'll move, move Florio. Remove him from it. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to go to uh, our center fielder and bring in Greg Allen. He had a one home run and three at bats in his last. So add him to that. Let's see what Allen can do. All right, so we'll see what Greg Allen can do. We are the pinstripes. He won't be getting too much playing time, I think, but maybe he will. All right, let's go to today's game. Apparently, we can't have that many pitchers on it that we could. All right, the Yankees. Here come the Yankees. Just auto fix that one. I'm sure it's going to be a right lineup that we need. All right, let's go. Here we go. Please, Zach, against Rodon. This is going to be a good pitching matchup here between two second place teams right now. And Cleveland already got to him, but the Yankees already got to. God damn to please, Zach. It's a three, four, five game right now. Four, eight game. Four to eight right now. The Yankees are still winning. Gotta let your pitchers get their EA down a little bit. So, but this is it. The Yankees are up four to twelve, and we are going to bring in a pitching. Trevino can come in, get some pitch, get some innings under him. It's four to thirteen. We're gonna let him close it out. Thirteen to four. The Yankees win this game, and that's what they wanted. Aaron Judge had a home run with six freaking RBIs. Aaron Judge definitely came up big today, and they stopped Cleveland from catching up to the White Sox. And get a game closer to Tampa Bay. So that's a big one for New York. They want to get back to first place and take it away from Tampa Bay. All right, so we're going to move on to the next game. The 7-10 games. 
we have one here in Toronto and Boston, and they started their series, if I'm correct. Um, and Boston uh, lost the last one, three to one, to the Toronto Blue Jays, who won in an extra innings. Uh, you sell Kikuchi will go out three and zero against Chris Sale, who's also doing pretty well, but not Chris Sale numbers. Chris Sale could be better than that from what we've seen in the past. But let's see what happens here. As uh, third place in the East takes on the fifth place in the East, still a zero zero game. Pitchers are holding their ground. And they're holding it down right now. Gucci sale. Oh, there it is. Toronto getting to uh, sale. And I think we should get Kikuchi. I think we sale is going to be done either way. 2-2 two -two game. There it is. It's a 2-2 two -two game. Now, what do this? What does this team do? We're going to bring in Nick Pavetta. Pavetta holds it down. The Red Sox not able to get anything. Pavetta. Ooh. You know we got to step into this one. It's a one-run game. Toronto looking to close out Boston like they did last night. But last night, a certain a certain man named Rafael Devers did not allow that to happen. So let's see if history will repeat itself here tonight. Jordan Romano stepping up here. 8 for 10 this year in uh, saves and opportunities. 13 games. His area is high, like I said. But let's see if Romano can hold this. Last night, they weren't going for the save. They were going for a complete game shutout of the Red Sox. But now Bobby Dalbeck will be the guy. Two for three. Let's see what the Red Sox can do. Is there another camera that I can use here? Uh, settings? Can I go to this one to see if, if I can do cameras? Uh, hitting view. Picture view. Let's go. Can we... Let's just look at a catcher. I want to see it from catcher. Oh, no. It won't give me that. That's bullshit. Okay, I thought we were going to be able to see it from a different camera view. We're, we're going to get this camera view instead. Uh, the pitcher, right behind the pitcher. Romano going to hold up against Bobby Dalbeck. Back into it. Oh, 0-2. Oh, 0-2, two. Oh, two. come on. Up top again. Back at him again. No, it's a one-two count right now. That foul, that uh, foul ball, will continue the at-bat for uh, Bobby Dalbeck, who's having a good game. This is the kind of game we want him to have every single game. The Red Sox are only trailing by one. Two-two count. Rays, uh, they got beat by the Pirates. Show him down. Jordan Romano sits Dalbeck down with that strikeout swing in there. was coming up next Alex Verdugo who's 0 for 3 right now a 200 average supposed to be better than this I believe and he will eventually shine out and get better than that there is a 16-1 margin right there as you saw earlier in the video the Braves destroyed the poor Marlins Solar got a home run he's been doing really well could be a trade uh, asset for the Marlins for a team looking for someone that can help him out the Cubs got the win on the Nationals again by one run and look at Verdugo oh it is caught there by Espinal again, and Toronto is one out away from getting this win, from shutting it down. And who's coming up next for the Red Sox? The Red Dream himself, Justin Turner, the two-time All-Star. Two home runs, eight RBIs this year, and he's batting at 275. I mean, take the chance, see what he does, see if he can get you this win. The Red Sox fans are tired of seeing losses. They are tired of seeing them continue to struggle and continue to lose. Maybe there's a rebuild coming up for them. Who knows? If they can't get through the month of May, uh, they continue to struggle the way they did in April. May, May might be the month they don't get they don't get the job done. It could be a uh, moving time for a couple of guys. Puts it back down again there. And now Romano's got an 0-2 count looking to strike out Justin Turner. <laughs> Try to get him to bite to that one. Turner, a veteran, seen it a couple of times. Not going to go for it. So let's see if he continues this. Let's see what uh, Mr. Turner can do. Pop up right there. It's going to be a foul ball, though. Not reachable. So Toronto right now, one strike away from winning this game and going up 2-0 in the series here at Fenway. The Red Sox trying to defend uh, their home field. It's been a bad. A bad. It's been a bad start for the Red Sox. One good month will definitely help them out a lot. 
2-2. He didn't go for it. He didn't pull it. And Turner keeping it alive. And what a dive. A dive to end the game. And that's going to get the Blue Jays the win. Justin Turner almost had it. But it looks like Toronto will get another win. And they're happy. They're like, hey, let's get our wins. Let's keep continue this. Whit Merrifield got the player of the game. Anthony Bass gets the win. Nick Pavetta gets a loss. Romano gets his ninth save of the year. Uh, Toronto will win this one. And continue their chase in the AL East to be the top team there. Especially with the Rays losing. 16-4. and four. Boston now is 10-21. and 21. Tough. Tough. Tough for Boston. I don't... I mean, they've lost uh, three in a row so far. But that's what it is. All right. So let's see what's next. Another 7-10 game. Chicago and Minnesota. A big series in the uh, AL Central here. The the White Sox, the only team that hasn't got to 10 losses yet. So they've already got to 20 wins. So we're going to send out Mike Clevenger, who's 0 for 3. Uh, going to take on Tanner Mah Mahale, who's also kind of not doing really well. So it's a battle of two pitchers that are struggling. This could get ugly. It's a okay, 0 0 game still. Okay, 1 0. Chicago takes the lead on Minnesota here. Chicago still, oh, 3. That's 4 0 right there. I think that's, I don't think you like, am I going to let Clevenger go? It's a 4 0. Clevenger will get the complete game shutout of the Twins. Nine innings pitch. She got six strikeouts, six, seven hits that loud. But got player of the game. His ERA went down. Tyler uh, Mahel. Another loss for him. I don't see if the Twins will keep him going. But now this moves Chicago to 21 and 9. Keeps him moving forward. All right, next game. It's the best team in the league. I don't really have to say much because they're the best team. They keep winning. 740. I see a 740 game here in Baltimore, in Kansas City, in Baltimore. That's the next game we're going to. We're going to Baltimore and Kansas City. Uh, Kansas City have done better in their last, I think, 10 games. Look at them. Ever since they played the Angels, they swept the Arizona Diamondbacks. They uh, split the series with uh, the Twins. And then uh, Baltimore, on the other hand, they started off really hot, and they've kind of cooled down. Uh, they split the series with Detroit, and now they're going to play here in uh, Kansas City. Daniel Lynch against Cole Irvin. Thought about uh, this Cole Irvin is a guy that might be going to the bullpen. Uh, with uh, Wells around now, but we'll see. 2-0. It's a good start for uh, for Baltimore. 3-0. 4-0. He held it out. 4-1, but that's it for Daniel Lynch. We're going to bring in Heasley here. i to hold it down. 4-1. It's a 4-3 game now. 4-3 still. One run game. Heasley's going to try to hold it down here for his squad, or will we let... We're going to let Tyler in. Josh Tyler do it. See what he can do. Yeah, it's 4-3 to three here. We're going to jump into this game between Kansas City and Baltimore. It's a one-run game here in Kansas City. Jackie Bradley Jr., who we just called up, is at, uh, on base. I uh, know, not on base. He's at bat. He's about to take on uh, one of my starting players in the uh, my fantasy team, Felix Bautista. Here we go. It's going to be Baltimore, Kansas City. It's a foggy day here in the building. It's very foggy. And Bautista. Pop it one up there. And that's a hit, maybe. He got the stop. He stopped it. And oh, Bradley Jr. couldn't get on base. But it looked like it could have been a, hit, a good stop, I guess. Technically, it, it, he almost dropped it. But he stops it either way with his glove. And Jackie Bradley's got speed, but not that much speed to get to uh, first base. And good thing on Bautista running to first, understanding his, uh, his the basics. And trying to swing at that, never going to be a good idea. Never a good idea.
Now Michael Massey and Felix Bautista going out of here. Pop up. Pop up here. And that's going to be it. It's going to pop up right there. Nicky Lopez, who is a three for three, a home run, a double. He's gotten better. You remember, he started off the season kind of off, but we, we stuck with him. And right now, three for three has the chance to put this game back in reach for Kansas City. But Baltimore trying to shut it down, and they put up Felix Patel. He's only a triple shy of a cycle. What? And they didn't say that to me. Come on. How dare you? Nicky Lopez looking for the cycle here against Felix Bautista. There's only one out left, though. One out left before this game is over. Two balls up top. I don't know that one with the ball, but that's what they're calling it. Can't get a cycle with a walk. Just remember that. It's just a triple shy. The Yankees are a half game behind now. The Tampa Bay Rays. White Sox continue to be two games on top of the Cleveland uh, Guardians. Going for it. Uh-uh. 2-2 two -two count. Oakland 17 games behind the Astros. Shit, that's just crazy to me. There's a battle on the wild cards right there between the Guardians, the Angels, Texas, and Nicky Lopez. Oh, unfortunately, is uh, he will be one triple shy of the cycle, but Baltimore wins this one. Kansas City gets the road win. Big win for them. Ryan Mancastle continues to be a beast, and uh, Cole Irving gets a win with only three runs allowed. Felix Batista gets the eight save. Baltimore wins this game. I mean, that's what Baltimore wanted to come into Kansas City, get a couple wins, and get back over the 500 mark because they're in a East that's very competitive. Daniel Lynch uh, gets a loss here, so we'll continue to see what other games we have. I think the next one's in St. Louis. The Angels and the Cardinals. The Angels just came off of a series against the Milwaukee Brewers that they lost um, in St. Louis now. They're in St. Louis here, taking on a team that just played the Dodgers uh, at Dodger Stadium. And they won that series, now they're back home to play three against the Angels. Uh, Tucker Davison will make his, uh, well, I don't think it's his MLB debut. He's already played before in the big leagues. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure he's played in the, in the majors. God damn, they have a lot of things going on in the minors. The Angels, let's go right here. Uh, Tucker Davison will be the guy on the mound for the Angels. Rating's not great, 60, almost at the bottom of their team. But he's already played before. He's played with Atlanta. Okay, so... We'll see what he we'll see how he does here with his uh with the Angels. All right, as it's gonna be, uh, Steven matches three and two against uh, Tucker Davidson. Let's see if the Angels are able to help out this young kid. If this young kid could come in for the Angels here, the Angels are already up two zero. It's a two one game right now. Jose Suarez is in the game already. We took him away from the starting role. But he continues to be a nuisance there. As the Eagles are up 3-1. he's up, And again, Suarez blows it up and the Cardinals take the lead. Steven Matz is still in the game. Tepera is still in the game. He gave me the game. That's it for him. We're going to put in uh, Libertore. At your Libertore. We just called up. It's a 3-4 game now. We're going to put in Helsley to get the save here. We're going to jump into it to see the Angels go up against the Cardinals here in St. Louis. It's a one-run game. Teams with almost the same identical records. If St. Louis gets a win, then they have the same record as the Angels. Luis Rengifo, who is batting under 200. Bats against lefties. We're going to jump out of this because it has us in this team select. Rengifo and Helsley. Popping it back up top right there. The Angels are down right now. Trying to get something, nothing there at all. It's a 2 1 count right now. Ah. 2 2 count, here we go. St. Louis has got something. And Gifo, though, who's 0 for 3 so far, is due for something here. He's due for a hit, he's due for contact, he's due to get something up. 
3-2 as he's waiting for the right pitch. Logan O'Happy on deck, waiting to get on. If he can get on, he, he knows he knows he's a key factor to this team. Going to hit right there down the middle. Nothing at all, though. Nothing at all. A hit there. No. Three two count right here. The Angels are trying to make the most out of Mike Trout and Shohei Otani here on the show. They're second place. That's gonna be a walk right there. That's a good start. Good start to the inning. They got him to eight pitches right there. Logan Happy, he's already got a walk. He's one for nine this year with a home run and nine RBIs. So he's been doing pretty well for himself. We don't really get too much of the Angels um, here on the show. They usually have a lead or already blew the lead. Uh, that's usually, but we're getting a couple of the Angels here. We're getting some things in a bunt. He's bunting it down. I'm going to let, I mean, hey, small ball. Small ball right there. It's going to move uh, Rangifo over, avoid any double plays, a sacrifice, one and three. And now Levon Soto, who they just called up. They just called him up. They want to see what the kid can do. He's playing today. And we'll see if he has anything in the tank or what he brings or what the Angels see in him. A big hit here could definitely definitely show something against an established closer right now like Ryan Helsley. And I've already got him. The, yeah, they're getting him right now. Got a runner in scoring position. Make the most out of it here in St. Louis as the away team. We did. I think we did send Velasquez down, so that's why. It's a strike. He's getting a couple of bats right now, getting to see some of what is up, waiting for him. Oh. Held on to that when Gio Ursula, Ursula is on deck. Waiting, he's got over a 300 average right now, so he's been doing pretty well so far to start off the season, and probably one of the reasons why the Angels are doing pretty well. And strike two, got him swinging a nothing there. I don't know if Levon Soto is ready, but he's up. He's up. Let's see what if he can do. What he can do here. Pop up right there. It would have. It could have been a strike. It could have been a strike, so you had to defend to that one. Back at him again here. Throwing this one, hoping to get him, and that's a... Ooh, right down the middle. Are they going to get Soto? Does Soto have speed? No, but he'll move the runner to third now, So, but you only have one out left. And right now, it's where it gets up for the Angels right now. It is one run, uh, one run game. Gio Ursula, it's 0 for 4 so far, but you have a runner on third. A hit would send you possibly into the next inning, the bottom of the ninth. And that's going to be the way it ends. And it's going to be an out here. The Cardinals will get the dub on the Angels to start off their series here. And that's a big win for them. They're very happy with that. They're going to continue with their winning ways. The Angels have cooled off a little bit. Tyler O'Neill had a home run with a uh, triple. Steven Matz, Jose Suarez yet again. We need, I don't... I want to get send him down. But he's able to get strikeouts. He didn't get on this game. Let's send him down. I'm going to send it down. Uh, Tucker Davidson got an injury. He'll be out a few days. Pull back muscle. We'll keep him. Well, okay, I guess that's why. But both teams 8 and 12, and they'll continue their series. Uh, they got two more games still. 8.05 is the next game I have. Yeah, we're going to go to uh, Texas, where Texas plays Arizona. Let's see where's Texas at. Where's Arizona at over here? Arizona is uh, 10 and 19. They're going to put in uh, Brandon uh, Fadat. Uh, out there, and he's gonna make his first uh, start for the Arizona Diamondbacks against John Gray, who's three and zero with a really good ERA. Uh, they won the, they lost the battle for fourth for last place, um, pretty much. So, actually, that means they won the battle for last place. They got, yeah, they they lost two games to the Colorado Rockies, who are challenging them for last place in the NL West. So they're now last place all by themselves. They'll have two games against Texas coming up. And in Texas, and Texas had the Yankees, I do believe, and uh, they cooled them off a little bit. They cooled, they got cooled off there by the Yankees. But hoping to pick up where they left off when they take on the the Arizona Diamondbacks here. 
or the debuting uh, pitcher with high prospects. Arizona up 3-0, 3-1. They got to the rookie quickly. John Gray holding in. Oh, Arizona got to him. Arizona, we, I'm, okay, 7-9-1. 9-3, okay, there you go. John Gray's day is probably done here. We're going to, I'm pretty sure it is. 9-5, Texas is starting to mount something here. 9-7. 10-7. Ten to eight, they're trying to hold it in here. We're gonna put like, like Crick in there, hold him down. Andrew Chafin, it's a two-run game, and the Diamondbacks bullpen is able to hold this one. We've seen it so many times where they lose it in the ninth, but the Diamondbacks bullpen is able to hold it. Brandon Piaft will get his uh, a win, but the high ERA for his first game, but they win. Ortiz Guerrero gets player of the game, a home run, the RBI, and a double. There is no loss for the. Oh, Brock Burke gets the loss. Why would he get the loss? He didn't even come in the game. Okay, that's weird. Brock Burke gets a loss, but he didn't even play in this game. I guess, whatever. Or maybe he did. I don't think he did, though. Okay, that's weird. Uh, I don't know. Did they start? Did they start the, the glitch start him? I think the glitch started, and that's what happened. There continues to be a glitch that keeps starting up. And when you do a simulation, it starts to closer. It's so stupid. All right, let's go to the next one. 840, 810. Okay, so we're going to go into this game. It's going to be San Francisco and Houston. Uh, we're going to go right into it. We saw the series already start. Uh, San Francisco almost pulled the win against Houston. But Houston got the walk-off walk last night. Tescalafani will move him from the bullpen over to starter against Jose uh, Urquidy, who is 5-0 so far this season. 1-1, one, 2-1, one, 2-1. One, two, one. It's a 3-2 game now. and The Giants now are, are battling it out here. They're battling with Houston. That's the one thing you can't, can't take away from them. They are battling. But Koyde will hold it again. And there it is. Houston's up 5-2. And this is where we're going to start to get. We're going to let uh, Montero come here and see what he can do. Hold it down there. It's a 5-2 game. I'm not bringing in Presley. I'm going to bring in Abreu. Abreu allowed a run, but it's still 3-5. And the Astros will beat the Giants here. With Jordan Alvarez help a home run in two RBIs. I mean, tough, tough loss for the Giants. Definitely starts to make them now move into a worse record here. 12 and 18 now. Houston's got the 12, the 21 and 9. They are uh, with the Astros up there. It's one of the better records. So I was speaking out of terms earlier. Houston has not got to 10 losses yet, neither. 940 games. I see a 10 10 and an 840. We're going to the 840 game here in Colorado. As Colorado will take on. The uh, the Brewers, the Brewers who just came off of a series against the Angels, winning that one, hoping that their confidence is ready. And yeah, technically um, Colorado won their series too, but they're still 11 and 18, a team that's close to their record too. Huh? Jace Vines making his uh, debut here for the Rockies against Lauer, who's also uh, not having a good year. It's a 1-0 game there. Milwaukee's already on top. Jay's fine already getting uh, tired. He went in. The, oh, that went, that went really bad. He doesn't have the stamina to be a starter. That's what we're learning right now. He doesn't have that stamina to be a starter. He probably will get the loss here. 49 allows a run. It's a 10-2 game right now. Milwaukee's getting destroyed here. 11-2. Red hand. It's 13-2. Milwaukee will get a big win. They might have got their confidence back. Garrett Mitchell, player of the game. Uh, home run, three RBIs. Who is this guy? Is this the guy we just gave a chance for the for the Rockies? Hold on. I want to take a look at this guy. God damn. God damn, man. It's just a lot of them. Okay, let's see. Who is this guy? No, not Ruff. We, uh, Ruff, we haven't given him a chance yet to start. Oh, and Miller. Oh, okay, not well, Miller. Uh, where is he at? He's out here. Garrett Mitchell, okay, he's already had three homers, 11 RBs. So he got out of his cold streak. That's a, getting out of your cold streak. Okay, 940 games. I have a couple of 940s. We're going to go to the 940 game here in San Diego and Cincinnati. Uh, they started their series as well, too, if I remember that correctly. And San Diego lost that game to Cincinnati 5-7. to seven. So let's get into this one. Hunter Green. Oh, that went bad for Hunter Green. 
still five zero game. It's a seven to zero game. And the pitching for Cincinnati didn't come out to help him out here. Except for Joe Musgrove. We're gonna take him out. We're gonna let Walker close him here. Ten to one. What a blob this is starting to be. Twelve to one. This is this game's been got this got even got way out of hand for them. We're gonna let Swatis come in and handle it. Jake Fraley sustained an injury. Keep him active. The Padres will win this game 12 to 1. God damn, it's a blowout. Kim got the player of the game with five RBIs. Musgrove gets the win. And Hunter Green, the, the highly talented prospect, is 1 and 4 with the 7 ERA right now. And Cincinnati will lose this one to San Diego. San Diego getting close to that 20th win mark. All right, now Oakland and Seattle. This is where I want to see how this Oakland team looks now. The couple changes being made. Kyle Mueller, Mueller still out there 0 4. The EA is not terrible against Robbie Ray, who has gotten a lot better in those last two games. So let's see what happens here. So once we get to that bullpen, that's when it's going to get questionable for the A's. I, you take him out. I think you take him out. Ken Waldenchuk. Ah, oh, Waldenchuk. 2-1, two 2-1, to 2-1. One, two to one, two to one. The Athletics are still in there. Garrett Acton. Oh, Acton. They called you up because they thought you had a chance. They thought you had promise. Love lady. Hold it. 4-1. to one. Let's see what happens here. Oh, they almost came back in the ninth. Almost came back in the ninth. They lose 4-3. to three. Uh, Robbie Ray gets player of the game. Ken Waldachuk gets the loss. He's been bad. Waldachuk's been bad. But, again, now this continues. They're losing away now to four. They started their new streak. 3-27 and 27, Oakland against... Uh, 16 and 13 Seattle team and uh, we're gonna close this video out with the Dodgers again Dodgers and Philly uh, the Dodgers lost last night to Philly Philly got that win and they're hoping to take the series here in this game and the Dodgers do not want to lose another one they don't want to lose two games back to back Nola against Kershaw you put Kershaw out there that's a good one but Nola's also been really good so good pitching matchups in this one 0-0 zero, zero. Last night it was just Victor Gonzalez. Unfortunately, he came out and it didn't go out the way he wanted to. Uh, the Dodgers are up by one. Kershaw there is a one-one game now. It's a one-two game. Kershaw will be up taking the. We're gonna take him out. Syndergaard, the former Philly, he got a chance to to see what he can do. We moved him to the bullpen. Four-one, and this is where we're gonna go to Phillips. Phillips is going to get the save for the Dodgers, and the Dodgers will win this one to tie the series. And we'll see who takes the series tomorrow. Max Muncy had a home run in an RBI. Kershaw gets the player of the game. I'm just going to get the winner. He gets the win. Nola gets his loss. And uh, the Dodgers move to 17 and 14, while the Phillies move to 16 and 15. And a couple series will close out tomorrow. Uh, here in the beginning of May, the Dodgers there get the win. Big win for them. And I'm out.